Hey guys, it's Ted Bogert. Welcome back to the Ted Show. We're back with a hero for kids Wednesdays. You know, I could talk about John and Andrea and her, their team, all the sponsors and supporters of this amazing organization. Uh, I fully support them and they have a gala coming up. So we're going to talk about the gala and we're going to meet kind of a big wig in addition to John. We've got Glenn Harris with us with HBH Law, FL.com. Uh, he's going to tell us his little origin story and then, of course, why he sponsors and supports A Hero for Kids. Welcome, gentlemen. How are you today? Doing wonderful. Thanks, Ted. Doing great, Hi. Ted. Good to be good? back. On good. I like it. I want to hear good. I don't even know what day it is. Uh, it's Wednesday. That's see, I have to be reminded a thousand times over. Uh, so we'll start with you, John, obviously. Give us a little background on you. And then tell us what a hero for kids does. If you've been under a rock and you don't know, uh, John's about to educate you. So, so good afternoon, everybody. Happy Wednesday. You know, Wednesday has become my favorite day that ends in Y, because I know when I get up in the morning, I'm getting ready to get on the TED show with some fabulous people. And, you know, it, always the trick is to surround yourself with great people. Agreed. And, yeah. And that we do. And, and I'm never even upset at Ted for dressing better than me, as he always <laughs> does. So we're going to stay with that. So, yes, John, I'm John Kalish, uh, John Batman Kalish, uh, Bruce Wayne without the billions, I like calling myself, <laughs> uh, founder, president, CEO, chief bottle washer at A Hero for Kids. We are an all-volunteer 501c3, and we just happen to have this gala coming up in 11 days. It's it's crazy how fast. October 16th. I can't believe we are in the month where the gala is going to be. When yeah, that's insane. This year has flown by. You know, it's like 2020 doesn't exist. I mean, 2020 came and went as a blur. When I, when I start thinking about last year, I start thinking about 2019. <laughs> and what sticks out about 2019 is uh, Ted Bogert in our 2019 uh, inaugural gala uh, was uh, our Lifetime Achievement Award winner for That's everything common. that Ted does for the community, for the children, for the families, veterans, first responders. I mean, the list just goes on and on. And I'm I'm honored to call him friend and and blessed that uh, to know him and and to to watch the the amazing things and to be a part of some of the amazing things that Ted does. Such kindness. It was such an honor and such a surprise. Still is an honor. Um, I was very shocked. I don't know. We're waiting for Glenn to hopefully pop back on. But I don't know if you know the story, if I told you, John, and I'll just share it. I, um, I had gone off to, I don't know, maybe find an adult beverage. And the minute I walked in the doors back in, I heard my name announced for that. And all I could think about was how horrible would that have been if I had been somewhere else and you're going, Ted, Ted Bogert, is Ted Bogert here? <laughs> so very happy. God was definitely looking out for me at that moment. But such an honor. I love A Hero for Kids. I love everything that you all do. Uh, you touch so many lives. And so it was an honor to receive that still is. So thank you. Um, all right. So Glenn's probably having Glenn is tell them about Glenn. So Glenn is HBH Law, but what is he involved with? What's his involvement level with A Hero for Kids and the gala? So, uh, Glenn, beyond being on our board, he is a non-voting member of our board. Glenn is also an attorney, a practicing attorney in the state of Florida, HBH Law, one of the partners, uh, Hansel, Bailey, and Harris. And he is the Harris of HBH Law and his lovely wife, is about ready to uh, become an attorney also. So it's going to be HBHH, I think, is, <laughs> is what's going to end up happening. Don't quote me on that. I may be, I may be wrong. I was hoping Glenn was here to uh, <laughs> confirm or deny. But uh, it is, uh, I mean, Glenn, uh, besides being on the board, is also our, our, you know, advises us on legal matters, should legal matters pop up, and which they do every once in a while with any, you know, make no mistake, a nonprofit is a business whether, you know, you're still dealing in the business world and dealing with people. And then uh, Glenn, HBH Law for the second year in a row is our title sponsor. 
So uh, yeah. and it looks like Glenn just popped back in from cyberspace. Magical. He is. Magical. It's magic. Timing. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean I'm mean, i kind of like that. You know, it, it, now <laughs> you see me, now you don't. Yeah, yeah. Ed Gallas, the same thing happens. You look around, Glenn's not there, and then you look and boom, he's on the stage. He's uh, It's just magic, a little smoke, and then boom, there he is. Oh. And I was uh, singing your accolades uh, while you were gone, Glenn, so you're going to have to uh, watch the recording of the show uh, to wow. see all of the uh, things I said about you. But, so many kind uh, words, Glenn. So many kind well, words. Well, that's good. I'm going to go ahead and record that and hold it against you in the future. <laughs> <laughs> again, again. Please raise your right hand. He's spoken like a true attorney right there. Yeah, yeah. You got to give. I can oh. either confirm or deny, sir. Uh, Glenn, Glenn tell us, so tell us, because uh, he did a phenomenal intro, but you know, I told you before we went live, they love origin story. They want to know a little bit about you. Uh, and then, of course, they want to know what you do. And then they want to, we want to wrap it up with why you are involved, not just at a small level, but at the title sponsor level for a Hero for Kids gala on the 16th. All right. Well, we're super excited to support the gala. I mean, I love John and his wife, Andre, to death. I mean, at the end of the day, um, their cause just, it's very close to us um, for multiple reasons, but they support um, three big areas that HBH law aligns with. One is children's literacy. We find a great value in education because prior to being an attorney, I was an educator. So I find a value in that. And the second one um, is they support veterans. And if veterans are just obviously the one of the greatest gifts that anyone could give our nation is their service. And we appreciate that. And finally, they support first responders. And those that you don't know, my wife's a retired first responder. She's a retired fireman from Osceola County. So at the end of the day, uh, we align really good. And I met John at some events and I saw his heart and his desire to help our community. And that's something us at HBH Law can get behind. So we got behind the gala and it's been incredibly fun. Uh, and it's been, and I'm gonna tell you what I love so much about it. And I've said it a million times. I'm sure I will say it next Saturday night at the gala, October 16th, um, at the Embassy Suites in Lake Buena Vista. And there it is. It's Lake, it's the Embassy Suites South. Um, you know, so there's two Embassy Suites. There's a North and a South or the South one. Um, as it comes down to it, this is where it is, is that uh, uh, when, when you, when you host a gala or an event, this one is has nothing really to do to celebrate John and Hero for Kids and all the great stuff they do. That's not what it is. What it is, is it's an opportunity to give recognition to the heroes without capes in our communities. You know, they give away you know, teacher of the year and the fireman of the year and the police officer of the year and uh, social worker, of the year, nonprofit of the year, all these different areas. What they're doing is they're celebrating inside of our community the accomplishments that make us great. And that is what makes this charity different than all the other charities I deal with. Is every other charity I deal with, it's always about them and their, and their plight in the world of what they're trying to do. Where John's is the exact difference. It's we're all in this together. So let's all come together and let's support one another and let's give recognition where recognition is due. Beautifully said. Well, that's it, folks. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> check, I, mean, I love it when somebody could wrap something up. John, what were you going to say? I was going to say check, please, because he <laughs> he did it, man. And 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 that's why he's an amazing attorney. Can you imagine the jury sitting there hearing that and going, oh, he's got to be right. You <laughs> he's know? got him. Speaking he's of being an attorney, we, we'd be remiss if you didn't tell us about HBH Law yes. and tell us what kind of practice you are. We want to give shout out because as a title sponsor, that's a big commitment. And as much as you love it, it's still a big commitment as a company. Uh, so let's give you a shout out and what your law, what your practice actually specializes in. All right. So we are a Central Florida based firm. Uh, we handle cases throughout the, the greater Orlando area. Uh, the main things that we do is wills and trusts probate and family law matters. Now we do a little bit of this. Those are the big three. And then me personally, I have a heart for adoptions. So I do a lot of adoption work. And, uh, you know, when we look at our law firm and we kind of just to give you a snapshot is that we want to help everyone. And even if you call me or walk through my door and I don't do it, I can get you to the right person who does. 
So that's kind of our mantra is we don't care what your case is. Call us and let us help get you to someone who can help you. Yes, so you want to be you want to be the the lens list for anything yeah. you might need in Central Florida, especially when it comes to legal service. Well, I think it's what it is, is that if you're a small business owner inside of our area or anything like that, we we shop local. That's what we do. OK, and that's our boutique firm. And if you like to shop local, I can connect you with other attorneys similar to me that aren't these big mega firms. There's nothing wrong with them. But if you'd like a smaller boutique firm, I can connect you with those people you won't find on Google because the mega firms own it. <laughs> they do. They got it all. They got the SEO down to a yeah. science. All right, John, it's October 16th. Tell us how people can get involved with the Hero for Kids, how they can get tickets if there's still some available, uh, maybe even silent auction items. I don't know, but I want them to get involved in the charity and I want them to get involved in the gala. So if you'll go to our website, aheroforkids.org, there's a, a tab there for the 2021 gala. There's a tab that you can click on to register for the gala. We do still have tickets available. And if, and if I can just take a second, uh, Glenn mentioned adoptions and an organization that he is, uh, I believe they call him the founding father. Okay. If, if I'm not founding father of United in Love Adoptions, which is close to my heart. And, and let me just tell you a quick story because I do Santa Claus and, and I had this one baby that took baby's first Christmas picture with me uh, as Santa Claus. And Glenn is looking and sees and says, that's one of our babies. So that whole universe is so huge, but so small. And I was just blown away. And that is absolutely my favorite picture of, you know, not, not to, you know, there's probably people watching going, oh my gosh, my kid was took a picture with you. <laughs> but this, this little baby looking up at me and baby's first Christmas, it was just absolutely blows me away. United in Love Adoptions does amazing thing. That's, that's where Glenn's heart is and BJ's heart is and the folks that, that work at HBH Law. Love it. All right. So a hero for kids. Dot org. You can find out anything you want to know, including where the link is to buy tickets, get involved. And then we have HBHLawFL.com, which is Glenn's practice. And you heard what he loves to do. He wants to help people. And that's what they do best. I'm excited for BJ. Excited for all of you. BJ's his amazing wife. And I am hoping I get to see her at the gala. I have good news about that. Actually, yesterday, October the 5th, was our 25th wedding anniversary. So Happy anniversary. Everybody out there. I love it. What does that mean, an anniversary time? I think it's silver. Like, like, the, like the, they, they put that nice. in yes, dollars. It is silver. It, it's like a million years. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much. Get out and support a hero for kids.org. You can go there, hbhlawfl.com. Uh, check them out and give back because our sponsors give and we'd like you to utilize them. People who give back in the community, uh, you got to find your right person. And in this case, you've got that with Glenn. Thank you, Glenn. Thank you, John. The Hero for Kids Wednesdays will be back. We're almost there. We're almost to the finish line. Close. Number 16th. Uh, so please get involved. Reach out to any of the three of us and we will make sure that you can give back to a Hero for Kids. All right. We'll see you guys soon. Thanks, gentlemen, so much.